Hey folks, Jackdaw here. Baldur's Gate 3 has taken the gaming world by storm, captivating players with its immersive gameplay and vast world. Whether you're preparing for the full game's launch in August, or diving into the early access version, navigating the complex systems, mechanics and features can be overwhelming for many players. But fear not, in this video I'm going to provide you all with 10 essential tips to help you get started on your adventure, enhance your gameplay experience, and fully enjoy everything Baldur's Gate 3 has to offer currently. So kicking this off, the first tip I have for you is to take your time. BG3 is a game that requires patience and strategic thinking. The vast open world and intricate plotline can be overwhelming, particularly for beginners. Therefore it is imperative to take your time and immerse yourself into this gaming world. Allow yourself to get lost in the vibrant Faerun, interact with NPCs and absorb the nuances of the game's mechanics. By doing so you'll gain a deep and understanding of the world and its inhabitants, learn more about the game's story and discover plenty of hidden secrets and plot lines. Moreover, rushing through the game can lead to missed opportunities, such as unique quests, hidden treasures and loot, and thrilling combat encounters. Taking your time also means carefully considering your actions before making a move. It's essential to evaluate your options carefully before deciding on a course of action. This will help you avoid mistakes that could be costly in the long run, such as accidentally attacking attacking a friendly NPC or making a decision that could affect the game's outcome negatively. Me, Lisa and Lambo did just that in our chaotic playthrough and boy you wouldn't believe the mess we caused. Although to be fair it was actually quite good fun to have everybody want to kill us but for a first playthrough not really the best course of action. Second tip, choose your party wisely. In BG3 your party members can make or break your gameplay experience and the right combination of companions can help you overcome Come challenging obstacles, while the wrong group can lead to failure and frustration. Therefore, it's crucial to choose your party members wisely. Each companion in Baldur's Gate 3 has a unique backstory, personality, and set of abilities. Some companions specialize in ranged combat, while others are proficient in magic. Some are skilled in stealth, while others with a two-handed sword. Therefore, it is essential to select companions that complement your specific playstyle and fill the gaps in your team's abilities. Choosing your party members wisely also means considering their personalities and how they fit into the game's narrative. Some companions have conflicting goals or ideologies, which can lead to tension or directly affect your decision making. Others may have personal quests or side stories that can add even more depth to the game's overall story. Furthermore, it's important to keep in mind that each companion has their own agenda and may not always agree with your decisions. Therefore, it's essential to consider their perspectives and maintain healthy relationships with them to avoid losing their support. Unless that's the kind of playthrough you're going for. Third tip, manage your inventory. Yes, it's not the most fun thing, but effective inventory management is crucial to your success in BG3. The game is full of valuable items, weapons and equipment that you'll need to collect and manage to progress throughout the entire game. And without proper inventory management, you may find yourself bogged down by clutter, constantly running out of space and losing track of your items. To ensure efficient inventory management, it's a essential to sell or discard any items you don't need. You can do this by visiting merchants in the game or by discarding items that are no longer useful. This will free up inventory space allowing you to carry more valuable items that will help you progress throughout the game. Another important aspect of inventory management is organising your inventory. This will make it easier for you to find what you're looking for and avoid wasting time searching through your inventory. Fully consider your playstyle, the weapons that you're going to use, your armour type, potions, are you a damage dealer, healer or support and make use of the best gear relevant to you, otherwise disregard or sell. Additionally, it's essential that you're also using the items in your inventory, like health potions, food and also other powerful items that could be used to enhance your current weapons, or using ingredients to be combined with something else. Fourth tip, use your abilities. One of the most crucial elements of BG3 is the abilities and skills of each character, creating a very distinctive fun playthrough. Each character and each of your companions have unique sets of abilities that can be used in combat and in exploration to gain an advantage. Understanding how you use your abilities effectively is crucial to your success in the game. When it comes to using your abilities in combat, it's essential to pay attention to the strengths and weaknesses of your opponents. Some enemies may be more vulnerable to certain types of attacks, while others may require more strategic approaches. By experimenting with different combinations of abilities and finding out what works best for your playstyle, you can create powerful and effective strategies to defeat 
defeat your enemies. In addition to combat, abilities can also be used in exploration. For example, depending on your character and your companion's specific stats, they may be able to detect hidden passages, discover hidden treasures, secret paths, and valuable information that could progress you all throughout the game. It is all very much dependent on the specific stats that you and your party have. And this is equally important as you upgrade and enhance throughout the game. Fifth tip, very obvious one, but save often. Saving your progress frequently in BG3 is crucial, as unexpected events can occur, especially if you are playing in early access. To avoid losing progress, it's important to make a habit of saving before major decisions, whether that be a combat sequence or a quest. You never know what's going to happen once you turn around a corner in BG3, so make sure you are well prepared by saving. Sixth tip, another obvious one, but read your quests carefully. Quests in BG3 are often rich with storylines, characters and rewards, making it essential to read them carefully. Paying attention to the details in these quests can help you understand their objectives, challenges and consequences of your actions. Some quests can also contain clues and hidden information that can help you complete them successfully. Furthermore, many quests in the game are interconnected and the choices you make can affect the outcome of other quests. So it's essential to read and understand these quests thoroughly to make informed decisions and progress through the game smoothly. Seventh tip, use terrain to your advantage. In BG3, battles can be intense and challenging, but using terrain to your advantage can give you a significant advantage. Walls and obstacles can block line of sight and movement, making it difficult for enemies to reach or hit you with ranged attacks. Elevation can provide a better view of the battlefield, making it easier to spot enemies, plan your attacks and even strike. Using terrain to your advantage requires careful positioning and strategy. For example, you can lure enemies into choke points where they can easily be targeted, you can use it to get a better view and also avoid yourself from enemies attacks, and you can make significant ranged attacks yourself. Keep in mind that enemies can also use terrain to their own advantage, so be prepared to adapt and adjust your strategy as needed. The if tip I have for you is to rest regularly. Again, another crucial aspect of BG3 is resting, and it's essential you do it regularly. As you journey throughout the game, you'll encounter many battles, quests, puzzles, and obstacles that will drain your resources and abilities. Taking a break to rest and recover is an excellent way to prepare for what's ahead and recover all of your spell slots and health. Resting is also a great opportunity to tweak your party's composition and gear. Maybe you need Shadowheart, the fantastic cleric, for this particular combat sequence, or you want to bring out Lazelle for a more action-packed encounter. Whatever the case, changing up your party is highly recommended and can significantly impact your success in the game. Furthermore, just like many Bioware RPGs, your camp is also where many key story moments will happen. So take the time to rest and pop over to your camp so you can talk to your companions and deepen your understanding of their personalities and their own individual motives. You may find that you can strengthen your relationships with them and even unlock new quests and even romance options. The penultimate tip I have for you is to talk to the NPCs in the world. Talking is such a crucial aspect of this game and by conversing with the game's many NPCs, you gain so many insights into the world, the politics, the culture, the overall narrative and even hints to finding new different types of quests and rare loot. So take your time to discover and talk to many different NPCs. They may reveal hidden quests and objectives, or they may just be fun to talk to. Overall, your choices in dialogue directly affects your reputation with many of your companions. So if you want to earn bonus points with particular members of your crew, you got to go out there and start chatting to NPCs. And the last tip I have for you is to experiment with different playstyles. It's not just about trying out different character classes, but also just experimenting with how you approach combat and exploration in BG3. Don't be afraid to mix with different abilities and spells and gear to find the perfect way for you to play. For instance, you might first start as a heavily armoured fighter, but not enjoy it as much. So then I would recommend you try out a stealthier rogue or try a spellcasting mage. By experimenting with a variety of different playstyles, you will find many new ways to experience this game and challenge yourself. Because truly, Baldur's Gate 3 has so much replay value and it really does craft a distinct playstyle dependent on so many different characteristics of your class, race, and the character that you spec into that will ultimately be completely distinct in the quests and storylines and endings and character dynamics and the choices that you make across the entire journey. So don't just settle for a particular playstyle that you started with, step out of your comfort zone and try something new. You may find a completely different, fun, enjoyable dimension to your gaming experience. And this is actually one of the best things about Early Access right now is that you can go into the game, play the first act, and just try out many different classes and characters and see what you like, what you don't like, what works for you, what doesn't work for you. It's really fun just to get that idea 
right now going into the game's full release in August. But overall, these are my top 10 tips for players in Baldur's Gate 3 as it currently stands. Some of these are going to be really helpful for early access. Some of them most certainly are going to be helpful for the game's full release, at least Act 1 and getting yourself immersed into BG3. So remember, take your time, experiment with different strategies, and most importantly, have fun in the world of Faerun. Until the next one though, I have been Jackdo and you are already in the right place for all of your Baldur's Gate needs. Until I see you again next time, I should probably go. Whoa, 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 whoa.